Okay guys, welcome back to an episode of Park ADV, the, the actual dirt bike riding part. So this is my 2014 DRZ 400 that's all customed out with graphics and new plastics. It was a black bike when it was bought, but I got it from a 72 or 73 year old man up in the, the, the backwoods of Georgia and he had done a ton of stuff to it. Those aren't the stock pegs. I put the bash guard on because I don't want to waste my uh, water pump. But all the plastic he did, the seat, the FMF power core uh, exhaust, the hand guards, the, uh, the Renthal bars with bar risers, he, uh, he did it all, this guy. He made it awesome. He put a different headlight on it. So... This is the bike I rode last year, and I crashed it one half hour into the ride and totaled out my left shoulder. And I did that because I refused to wear all this. Pads. And so it's been just about a year since I crashed on this bike. First time I rode it. Um, washed out the front wheel next to some asphalt, went down, separated my shoulder, or at least a torn rotator cuff, had to have surgery and all that stuff. Broke the blinker off, it broke the handguard. Anyway, we're back. I love to ride dirt bikes on dirt roads and, and, uh, and um, scout around on them. And you guys know my channel, you can see there's all kinds of KLR stuff and dirt bike riding on it. But this is the DRZ 400 day, so let's get after it. Okay, so here we go. I live in Bay County, Florida. I don't know if some of you guys know that. Lots of sand out here, obviously, Florida. But we do have some roads we can ride on. I had these tires pumped up for, uh, for the highway, but they're pretty soft, so. I can feel and tell that they don't need any air taken out of them. All right, so I got all my gear, got all my stuff, and off I go. Push this button so that my, come on, man. So my phone doesn't call somebody in the tail bag. I am gonna get some luggage, some uh, like, tight luggage. I'm going to go to Rocky Mountain ATV. They got a segment out there called the, uh, I built my KLR that way and I'm going to build the DRZ the same way. After what this old guy did to it is amazing. It's an amazing bike. It's very quick, very agile, very light. Lots of suspension travel, just the way I like it. Let's go. 